Merry Christmas! My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. You're watching us on YouTube. Welcome! Thanks for being here. Uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can find it again because we are having a Christmas reading every single day from the first all the way till Christmas Day. Now, we had all these in a devotional that we gave out, but we realized that not everybody was able to grab one, and so we just figured, you know what? I'll just read a page out of it every single day, sit in front of the old Christmas tree, uh, find our page, and we'll just read together, have a little devotional, a little Christmas, right? Uh, every single day helps us feel like we're all in this together. Our reading today is called God Sent a Baby, and the passage is Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 and 29. It says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You know, that first Christmas began with a baby born in a stable. When the world expected a king, God sent a newborn. When the world expected a mighty conqueror, God sent weakness and frailty. When the world expected a quick fix, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Christmas doesn't really have a restful reputation, does it? When it's all over, we say that we survived the holidays. But Christmas shouldn't be something that you survive. This Advent season, remember that Jesus promises rest for those who would come to Him. How can you find rest this Christmas season? Try to take a break this week from everything that you had planned. Don't make any shopping errands or answer any phone calls. Tell yourself that it can wait until another day. Take some time to find rest. With a single baby laid in a manger on Christmas morning, God destroyed the idea that peace comes only through power. Jesus is the Prince of Peace, and He is gentle and humble in heart. Christmas began with a baby born in a stable, and Christmas will stay alive when the Christ child is born in our lives. Jesus, in all I do and in all I say this Christmas season, may I follow your example of gentleness and humility. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to come back tomorrow for our reading on December 9th. Hey, and one more thing before you go, I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.